just so he has his, your name across his belly. Oh. <laughs> well, please do. They're, that's what they're for. Thank you. I, we right. just, uh, those are obviously berries. <laughs> we had a little time yeah. backstage, Ellen. Yeah. yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Barry and I. Yeah. I bet you did, because you are you are a fan of Lowe. I am. I love Barry Manilow so much. Yeah. When, when he sang Mandy, I, I realized everyone in, in this audience, everyone watching, has a moment where you're suddenly transported back to a time, a boy, anybody that you love. Like, for me, it was Donnie McRedmond. Mm -hmm. I loved him. Is he here? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, Donnie! Donnie! Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And how old were you? What grade were you in? I was, um, I think, 17, mm -hmm. and uh, it was the slow dance at the end of the night where mm -hmm. you wait for someone to ask you, and no one asked me, and then my girlfriends dared me to ask Donnie, and I did, and I think he was drunk or something. I don't know what yeah. happened. Yeah. But yeah, then we, then we slow danced together, and it was my first slow dance ever. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's mm -hmm. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always, I didn't understand the song, you came and you gave without taking, and I didn't understand it. Yeah, it's something to do with Halloween, I think. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You gave and then you take, um, that's yeah. not really in my world. Yeah. Of... But then you would have been there and then you gave without, you wouldn't come and give without taking. Yeah. That's... You're never supposed to arrive at a party without a gift, right. I heard, so. So maybe that's what it was, going to gift and you came and you gave and you didn't even steal anything. <laughs> The perfect guess. That's probably what that yeah. song means. All right. Okay, now, now we know. All right. Now we know. Good. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now I'm struggling. I've said your name so many different ways, and I know you, and we run into each other all the time. Vardalis. Yeah. Not yeah. Uh, for Dallas. Yeah, I always Dallas. say say Dallas and put Var in front of that's it. That's what I tried to do. Yeah, it, but when you have a name like mine, if someone says like a V or something, I go, that's me, I'm here. Yeah, yeah you just accept it. Yeah, because it, it, it doesn't seem that hard to say. And it's Greek? Mm -hmm. And what, it, is it fancy for something? Yeah, in, in English it means Miller. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am actually a pretty boring name. Actually, my full name is Antonia Eugenia Vardalis, which would be a great soap name, Antonia yeah. Miller. Right, Yeah. and Antonia, I know for a fact, means Ruth. So uh, your <laughs> name really just should be Ruth Miller. Ruth Miller actually suits me. Yeah. Someone who sits at home and knits. Yeah. Well, all right, Ruth. Um, Thank you. So, uh, Thanks for having me here. Yeah. <laughs> now, you were at the, the uh, VH1 Divas thing. You saw yeah. Tony, and, and how did you like that? V that is a night where, you know, the bigger the hair, the bigger the voice. Uh -huh. It's amazing. <laughs> it was huge. Everybody, they sing these really long notes. I noticed that Barry Manilow did it, too. Yeah. It's like the new thing, like the longer the note. Like, you don't just go like, like, and you came, and you came. It's like... Oh, Mandy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's really good. It is. It's very impressive, too. I th I'm going to hold my jokes longer. I'm yeah. going to hold... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna hold my stomach in longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what you're supposed to do, and I always I don't forget do it. that. I let it all hang out. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. be that's, comfortable. That's yeah. It. How can you possibly see? Now I'm aware of that. Now that you no, said it. No, don't let it sit us for it. <sighs> okay. Better, yeah. All right. Um, so now, listen. We were talking about success and instant success. That you. I mean. Well, I don't know if everybody knows the story. You were doing. You wrote the play, mm -hmm. My Big Fat Greek Wedding, mm -hmm. and Rita. Rita Wilson uh, came to the show, and I had already written the screenplay, but I couldn't get anyone in Hollywood to read it because like, I didn't have an uncle that ran a studio. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll just jump up on stage and, and do it as a one-woman show. And Rita Wilson came to the show, and she sent her husband, Tom Hanks, and then he called me up, and he said, we're going to make your movie. And I had been doing stage for 15 years and been happy. You know, I was just happy to make a living on stage, but I came to Hollywood and couldn't make a living. And so I had the absolute audacity when Tom Hanks called me to say, I, I would like to play the lead role because I thought he'd say no. Uh -huh. And then I was going to ask for the Cousin Nikki part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he said yes. And I was like, what a sucker. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And wow. so, yeah. Because the Rita's thing, Greek. Yes. And so she identified with it. I think so. And yeah. I think that Tom Hanks knew that people, I mean, the most amazing thing happened to me where people would say, I'm Chinese and you're talking about my family. And right. I was surprised, but I think that, I, I guess he knew it. I don't know. But I've had the most incredible thing like where people just come up to me and say anything like you know you've had a nose job and I'm like yeah. no I haven't and then they want to touch it and uh -huh. you know or, or they give me stuff uh-huh like it's like the, like a woman said um I love you uh take my bracelet and I was like no 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 I, I don't want it and she was like please take my bracelet I was like no I don't want it and she was like listen to me I'm in menopause you don't want to make me mad wow. yeah so this is the bracelet wow <laughs> and 
She told me it has good luck attached to it. And wow. that I should give it to someone I love, so I want to give it to you. <gasps> I was going to take it. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Ruth Miller, you came and you gave without taking. <laughs> we have to take a commercial, but we'll be back right after this. Thank you so much. We're back with Nina Gardalis. All right, so that's a clip from Connie and Carla. And you play you play drag queens. You're women playing men playing women. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. It was interesting to do. What was it like to play a drag queen? What did, what did you, did you go watch drag queens? I did. I asked a lot of questions. I asked this one guy, why do you do it? And he said, it's the one night a week I feel fabulous. And I was like, well, who can't relate to that? Mm -hmm. And I wrote this movie about my real life, about musical theater. I used to do a lot of it. And I had no idea what I was getting into. I, I you know, I have trouble when I think I am going to, you know, and then they kiss. Like, oh my gosh, I kissed David Duchovny, right? Mm -hmm. Jealous. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 drag outfits and oh. we were in tight corsets and tight pants and high heels and I was walking across the set and the Teamsters were whistling and like normally I'd be like hey don't objectify women but I felt so sexy in this outfit I was like yeah bring it yeah <laughs> I really liked it I like that so feeling. you did feel fabulous I did one night a week mm, fabulous and, yeah. and uh, now how long did it take you to get is it a longer process yeah yeah two hours I would I would uh, fall asleep in the makeup chair and when I I'd wake up and look in the mirror and go, oh, I'm a drag queen <laughs> Because it was more makeup? What else did they do that would take that long? It was a lot of makeup. They also would blo uh, block out our eyebrows and put an eyebrow on top. And I snuck into the back of the movie theaters this week, because I'm a geek here in L.A., and I listened to the audience. And I just thought, you know, it's such a, a world that everyone kind of knows. Like, it's like musical theater. Everyone knows these songs. And it, I thought the look was jarring, but it's not at all. The audience was, like, laughing and applauding and singing along, and I was, like, you know, in tears at the back no, of the theater. No, it looks great. Uh, it, it looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> all right, so, uh, and Connie and Carla is in theaters now, but just really quickly... Um, because I know that uh, your your husband, who was also in um, Ed, Ed TV yeah, that I was you. in, and uh, and he wants y'all are trying to uh, get a dog. Yeah, but he's allergic. He's very allergic, so he's been doing acupuncture. That's my husband. Yeah, Ian Gomez. He's been doing acupuncture, and it seems to be working. But I'm 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 nervous to get a dog until I know it's worked for him. There are hypoallergenic dogs. There, the, a poodle is is mm -hmm. you can get a poodle, and mm -hmm. also those labradoodles, which are. Crazy, yeah, but but they, yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying to do. We want to rescue a dog, yes. so it, that's why we're going to go and get a mutt. And so I want to make sure that he's absolutely clear. Go to a rescue thing that rescues poodles. They yeah. have whatever whatever breed you're looking you for. You can. We'll do it. Uh, no, I won't do it. Come on. <laughs> Come with me. I, I'm looking for a dog. Well, I'm looking for a dog, too. So, okay, we'll do it together. Okay, that's great. All right, then okay. we will. We'll All right, hey, Barry Manilow performs after this. Don't go away. Okay.